Hitachi EX 8000-7 vs. Bosiris RH400, the ultimate excavator battle. What if I told you that two machines on this planet are so powerful they can literally move mountains, but their yearly running costs could rival the budget of a small city? Today, we're putting two of the world's largest and most legendary hydraulic mining excavators in a head-to-head -head battle for supremacy. In one corner, you've got the pinnacle of Japanese engineering and efficiency, the Hitachi EX 8000-7. And in the other corner, the titan of American muscle, a machine so iconic it became a movie star before being absorbed into the Caterpillar dynasty, the Bucyrus RH400. We're going to break down everything from raw, earth-shattering power and colossal digging capacity to the shocking annual running costs to find out which of these mechanical goliaths truly rules the mine. This isn't just about big machines, it's about the apex of heavy engineering, where every ton of steel and every drop of fuel translates into millions of dollars. Let's get into the ultimate excavator battle. Section 1. The Tale of the Tape, Raw Specifications Every great fight starts with a weigh-in, a face-off, where we measure the sheer physical dominance of the competitors. And in the world of mega excavators, the numbers are so huge, they're almost hard to wrap your head around. This is where the battle on paper is fought. Round one, operating weight. First up, the most fundamental stat of them all, weight. In this arena, mass means stability, it means presence, and it means power. The Hitachi EX 8007 tips the scales at an incredible 839 metric tons, or about 1.85 million pounds. To put that in perspective, that's like stacking more than 400 full-size pickup trucks on top of each other. It's a staggering figure that represents an immense amount of steel and engineering. But then, the Bucyrus RH 400 steps onto the scales. Now operating under the Caterpillar banner as the 6090 FS, this legend's operating weight can reach up to 980 metric tons or nearly 2.2 million pounds. That's an extra 140 tons of American-born muscle it's not just heavier, it's in a different class, a weight that plants it firmly on the ground, ready to tear into the earth with unmatched stability. That extra mass, born from its notoriously tough frame, gives it a clear physical advantage right out of the gate. In the first round, the raw numbers don't lie. The extra heft gives the Bucyrus the edge. Winner, Bucyrus RH400. Round two, engine power. Weight is nothing without the force to move it. Deep in the heart of these behemoths are power plants that would make a supercar blush. This round is all about raw horsepower. The Hitachi EX 8000-7 comes armed with two massive engines, your choice of a Cummins or an MTU, that work together to unleash a colossal 3,888 horsepower. That is an astronomical amount of power, engineered with a focus on efficiency and reliability to keep the machine running 24-7 in the world's harshest environments. But the Bucyrus RH400 was built with a different philosophy, absolute no compromises power. It's equipped with two engines, often Cummins or Cat power plants, that together unleash a staggering 4,500 horsepower. That's more than an entire NASCAR starting grid combined. This immense power is needed not just to move its own colossal weight, but to drive the massive hydraulic systems that give the machine its legendary digging force. It's a statement of intent that when it comes to brute force, there are no substitutes. While Hitachi's power plant is a marvel of modern engineering, the RH400 simply brings more horses to the fight. For sheer, unadulterated power, the champion of this round is clear. Winner, Bucyrus RH400. Round three, bucket and shovel capacity. Power and weight are impressive, but in the mining world, productivity is king, and productivity starts with the bucket. How much earth can you move in a single scoop? The Hitachi EX 8000-7 is no slouch. Depending on its setup is either a backhoe or a front shovel, it boasts a bucket capacity of up to 52 cubic meters. That's large enough to swallow a handful of small cars without even trying. This capacity lets it fill some of the world's largest haul trucks in just a few passes, making it an incredibly productive machine. However, the Bucyrus RH400 
built its legacy on its bucket. With a standard capacity that pushes 50 cubic meters, its iconic clamshell-style shovel is a marvel. It's been said this bucket could swallow five pickup trucks in one go. In the right conditions, it can hold over 85 tons of material in one scoop, a feat that helped it set world records. It's not just a bucket, it's a gaping maw designed for one purpose, to devour the earth faster than anything else. While both are immensely capable, the RH400's reputation and world record performance give it a slight but critical advantage here. Winner, Bucyrus RH400. Section two, the Titans in action, digging performance. Specs on a page are one thing, but mines are carved out of solid rock. Now we move from the stats to the real world. How do these Titans perform when their steel meets the stone? Round four, digging reach and depth. It's not always about brute force. Sometimes the battle is won by inches. Being able to reach further and dig deeper gives crucial flexibility in a mine, allowing operators to work more efficiently and safely. The Bucyrus RH400 in its front shovel configuration has a maximum digging depth of around eight meters or 26 feet. Its reach is formidable, designed to work perfectly with the massive haul trucks that line up to be filled. However, this is where the Hitachi EX8000-7, especially as a backhoe, reveals a key advantage. It boasts a maximum digging reach of over 22 meters, or about 73 feet, and a maximum digging depth of 8.4 meters. That extra reach can be a game changer in complex digging situations, letting it work on higher benches or reach material without repositioning, which saves valuable time and fuel. This is a perfect example of Hitachi's focus on operational flexibility. For its superior reach and depth, this round goes to the Japanese contender. Winner, Hitachi EX 8000-7. Round five, breakout force. This is the measure of pure prying power. When an excavator hits tightly packed earth or solid rock, breakout force is what lets it rip right through. It's the mechanical equivalent of raw strength and it separates the diggers from the destroyers. The Hitachi EX 8000-7 delivers a massive breakout force of 2,230 kilonewtons. This is an immense amount of power, capable of tearing through most geological formations with ease and a testament to the efficiency of its hydraulic system. But the Bucyrus RH400 was engineered to be the undisputed king of force. The numbers are just staggering. Its breakout force can reach up to 3,300 kilonewtons. This isn't just more force, it's a dominating advantage. This power allows it to pry apart and lift material that other machines would just chip away at, making it the weapon of choice in the toughest mining conditions on the planet, from the oil sands of Canada to dense iron ore mines. When it comes to the ability to just tear the earth apart, the RH400 is in a league of its own. Winner, Bucyrus RH400, Round six, productivity, tons per hour. This is the metric that mine managers dream about. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how much material you can move. Horsepower, weight, and breakout force are all just means to an end. That end is measured in tons per hour. Both of these machines are phenomenally productive, capable of moving over 9,000 tons of material every single hour in the right conditions. The Hitachi EX 8000-7 is a model of consistency, designed for 24-7 operation with features that maximize uptime and efficiency. However, the Bucyrus RH400 holds the world record for a hydraulic excavator. It has been documented moving an unbelievable 9,900 tons of material in a single hour. This record-breaking performance is a direct result of its massive horsepower, a slightly larger bucket, and hydraulic systems designed for speed. When the conditions are right and the trucks are lined up, nothing on earth moves material faster. For a mining operation, that extra productivity translates directly into profit, making the RH400 a legend for a reason. For its record-breaking, jaw-dropping ability to move material, this round is a clear victory for the RH400. Winner, Bucyrus RH400. We're halfway through this colossal battle and so far, the legendary Bucyrus RH400 is leading the charge with its incredible power and productivity. But this fight is far from over. 
If you're enjoying this clash of titans and the amazing engineering behind them, do me a favor and hit that like button. It tells the algorithm you want to see more deep dives into Mega Machines, and it really helps the channel grow. Now I've got to ask, which of these two giants is winning you over so far? The modern, efficient Hitachi or the raw-powered Busiris? Let me know your pick in the comments below. Let's see who the community is backing. Section 3. The Billion Dollar Question. Cost of Ownership. These machines may be engineering marvels, but they are also massive financial investments. Owning and operating a mega excavator is a numbers game where millions of dollars are on the line. Now we get into the most critical factor for any mining company, the cost. Round seven, the purchase price. Let's start with the price tag. How much does it cost just to get one of these land devouring giants? The numbers are as massive as the machines themselves. The Hitachi EX 8000-7, with its advanced technology, comes with an estimated purchase price between 30 and 35 million US dollars, depending on the configuration. The Bucyrus RH-400 and its successor, the CAT-6090 OFS, has a slightly wider range. Historically, the Bucyrus was estimated to be in the 25 to $30 million range. Current Caterpillar models are likely in a similar, if not slightly higher bracket. For our historical comparison, the Bucyrus often meant a lower initial investment. While a few million dollars might seem like a rounding error at this scale, for a company buying a whole fleet, it adds up fast. Based on the lower initial investment, the RH400 takes this round. Winner, Bucyrus RH400. Round eight, the thirst for fuel. These monsters have an insatiable appetite and their thirst for diesel is legendary. Fuel is one of the single largest operating expenses and efficiency can be the difference between profit and loss. Both machines are equipped with enormous fuel tanks that hold nearly 4,000 gallons, or over 14,000 liters. That's enough diesel to fill the tanks of over 250 standard cars. However, this is where Hitachi's modern engineering philosophy really shines. The X7 series was designed with fuel consumption optimization at its core. It has electronically controlled hydraulic pumps and special circuits that reduce the energy demand on the engines. These systems work together to make sure every drop of fuel is used as efficiently as possible. While the RH400 is all about maximum power, the EX8000-7 is engineered to deliver its power more intelligently. In the long-term war against operating costs, fuel efficiency is a decisive weapon. This round goes to Hitachi. Winner, Hitachi EX8000-7. Round nine, annual maintenance costs. If the purchase price is a punch, the annual maintenance cost is a relentless series of body blows. These machines work in the most brutal conditions imaginable, and keeping them running is a multi-million dollar a year commitment. For the Bucyrus RH400, with its larger systems and higher power, the estimated annual maintenance cost runs between two and three million dollars. Its massive hydraulic system and powerful engines require intense servicing to keep them at peak performance. This is another area where Hitachi made some smart moves. The EX8000-7 has a modular design, centralized lubrication systems, and easier access to major components. These choices are all meant to reduce downtime and make maintenance simpler. As a result, its estimated annual maintenance cost is significantly lower, ranging from $1.5 to $2.5 million. That potential saving of half a million dollars or more per machine per year is a figure that no mine operator can ignore. Hitachi didn't just build a machine to work, they built it to be worked on efficiently. For its smarter, more cost-effective design, Hitachi lands a critical blow. Winner, Hitachi EX 8000-7. Section four, the human element, life in the cab. At the end of the day, a machine is only as good as its operator. For someone spending a 12-hour shift inside one of these giants, comfort and control aren't luxuries. They're essential for safety and productivity. This round is all about the view from the driver's seat. Round 10, Operator Comfort and Experience. The cab of the Bucherous RH400 is spacious, offering a commanding view over the mine. 
For its time, it was a state-of-the-art cockpit. It even famously included a small room behind the cab with a fridge and a microwave, a nod to the long hours operators spend inside. Later Caterpillar versions have updated the tech, but the core DNA is still all about function. However, the Hitachi EX8000-7 represents the cutting edge of operator environments. The cab is an ergonomic workspace designed to reduce fatigue. It features an advanced air suspension seat, powerful climate control, and integrated electronic joysticks that make controlling this 839-ton beast feel almost effortless. The display provides a ton of real-time data, putting more information at the operator's fingertips. Hitachi has also put a heavy emphasis on safety, with things like an onboard inclinometer and well-placed walkways. While the RH400's cab is functional, the Hitachi EX8000-7 provides a more modern, comfortable, and advanced environment, which ultimately leads to a safer and more productive operator. Winner, Hitachi EX8000-7. Section 5. Legacy in the Future You can't understand these machines without looking at where they came from. Both have incredible legacies. The Bucyrus RH400 has one of the most storied histories in heavy equipment. It started life in 1997 as the Terex O and K H400 in Germany. After a few corporate acquisitions, it became the Bucyrus RH400, a legend in the Canadian oil sands that even made a cameo as a Decepticon in a Hollywood blockbuster. Eventually, Caterpillar acquired Bucyrus and the RH400's DNA became the foundation for the world's current largest excavator, the CAT 6090FS. It's a true dynasty of digging. The Hitachi EX8000-7 carries a different kind of legacy, one of technological advancement and constant refinement. Hitachi has earned a global reputation for building some of the most reliable and efficient hydraulic excavators in the world. The EX7 series is the result of decades of research focusing on sustainability, lower operating costs, and intelligent systems. It represents the future of mining, not just bigger, but smarter. One machine carries the legacy of record-breaking power. The other carries the torch for a future of sustainable efficiency. Conclusion. So after 10 rounds of head-to-head -head competition, who is the ultimate excavator champion? The Bucyrus RH400 the titan of tradition won decisively on raw power. It's heavier, has more horsepower, boasts a larger bucket, wields a more destructive breakout force, and holds the world record for productivity. It also had a lower initial price tag. It is, without a doubt, the king of brute force. However, the Hitachi EX8000-7, the master of modernity, staged a brilliant comeback. It won on digging reach, superior fuel efficiency, significantly lower maintenance costs, and a more advanced operator experience. It represents a smarter, more sustainable, and in the long run, more cost-effective approach to mining. So really, the choice depends entirely on the mission. If a mine needs to move the absolute most material in the shortest time possible, the legacy of the Bucyrus RH400 is unbeatable. But if a mine is playing the long game, focused on total cost of ownership and fuel efficiency, the intelligent design of the Hitachi EX8000-7 makes it the clear modern champion. These are not just machines. They are monuments of engineering, the two undisputed heavyweights of the hydraulic excavator world, each a champion in its own right. Now the final decision is yours. Which machine would you put your money on? The legendary power of the Bucyrus RH400 or the modern efficiency of the Hitachi EX8000-7? Drop your champion in the comments below. And if you love seeing these incredible machines pushed to their limits, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss our next deep dive into the world of mega machines. Thanks for watching.